ladies and gentlemen, let's hear it for the band. <laughs> ladies and gentlemen, we welcome you to the North American Aerospace Defense Command, the United States Northern Command, senior enlisted change of responsibility ceremony. Now, for today's ceremony, just a few housekeeping details. It will be conducted as an outdoor ceremony. Therefore, headgear is required for all military members in uniform. Just a courtesy heads up, the general has his on already. So, uh, throughout the ceremony, you'll be given cues to stand and be seated at the appropriate times. And as a reminder, military members should salute on the first note of ruffles and flourishes and during the national anthems. Ladies and gentlemen, again, good morning. And on behalf of the commander of the North American Aerospace Defense Command and United States Northern Command, General Gregory M. Guillo, it is my pleasure to welcome you to the North American Aerospace Defense Command and United States Northern Command Senior Enlisted Leader Change of Responsibility Ceremony. It is with great pride that we assemble here today to observe the transfer of responsibility of the command Senior Enlisted Leader from Sergeant Major James K. Porterfield to Chief Master Sergeant John G. Storms. The presiding official for our today's ceremony is General Gregory Guillo, Commander, North American Aerospace Defense Command, the United States Northern Command. Please stand for the arrival of the official party and remain standing for the playing of the military honors, the presentation of colors, playing of the national anthems, and our invocation. Present the colors.
I invite you to join with me in a word of prayer. Heavenly Father, in your providence, you have called your children to strive for justice, peace, and freedom around the world. We give you thanks for the men and women of North American Aerospace Defense Command and the United States Northern Command who have faithfully answered your call. For their courage and faithfulness as they boldly strive to accomplish their mission, we give you thanks for each and every one of them and the sacrifices that they make to serve. Guide of our lives, today we pray for the leadership of NORAD and U.S. Northern Command. In your providence, you called Sergeant Major James Porterfield to minister to this command. He has served with a brilliant determination and faithfully answered your call. We give you thanks for his wife Karen and sons Calvin, Gary, Andre, and Jonathan, who have diligently supported and ministered with Sergeant James Porterfield over this time. Lord, we ask that you bless them as they enter into a new ministry. As we welcome Chief Master Sergeant John Storms and his wife Carrie into a new ministry with NORAD and U.S. North Northcom, we pray for your blessing and strength for them. As he takes the mantle of servant leadership, give to him the wisdom of Solomon, the courage of David, and the faithfulness of Abraham, and all the wisdom and counsel he needs for such a time as this. Lord of hosts, watch over our deployed service members and those who stand the watch this night. Guard them with your holy angels and guide them with all wisdom. And having completed their missions, return them home to families, friends, and a grateful nation. Bless now our nation and our service. And to you, eternal God, in whose name we pray, be our praise and our thanksgiving forever. Amen. Ladies and gentlemen, you may be seated. A special thank you to the 4th Infantry Division Band for their musical honors and the beautiful rendition of those anthems. Also, thank you to the NORA and U.S. Northcom Joint Color Guard and Chaplain Conklin. Thank you for those inspirational words. We are honored to have a number of distinguished guests with us today. Please hold your applause until everyone has been recognized. We would like to extend a special welcome to Ms. Carolyn Gio, spouse of General Gio, Mrs. Karen Porterfield, spouse of Sergeant Major James Porterfield, Sergeant Major Porterfield's sons, Staff Sergeant Calvin Albright and Jonathan Albright, Mrs. Carrie Storms, spouse of Chief Master Sergeant John Storms, Chief Petty Officer William Tackett, United States Navy, retired, brother-in-law of Chief Master Sergeant Storms. Commodore Raymond King, Commander, Royal Bahamas Defense Force, and his senior enlisted leader, Force Chief Petty Officer Vaughn Ferguson. Master Sergeant Geraldo Alvarado Torres, Senior Enlisted Leader to the Mexican Army Commander. Chief Petty Officer Marco Antonio Pacheco Lorenzo, Senior Enlisted Leader to the Mexican Marine Corps Commandant. Lieutenant General Dimitri Henry, Director for Intelligence, Joint Staff. Lieutenant General Blaise Frawley, Deputy Commander, North American Aerospace Defense Command. Lieutenant General Thomas Carden, Deputy Commander, United States Northern Command, and his spouse, Charlene. Lieutenant General Mark Wise, United States Marine Corps, retired, and his spouse, Terry. Lieutenant General A.C. Roper, United States Air Army, retired, and his spouse, Edith. SEAC Troy Black, Senior Enlisted Advisor to the Chairman of the Joint Chiefs of Staff. Sergeant Major Carlos Ruiz, Sergeant Major of the Marine Corps. Chief Master Sergeant David Flossy, Chief Master Sergeant of the Air Force. Senior Enlisted Advisor Tony Whitehead, the Senior Enlisted Advisor to the Chief of the National Guard Bureau. We also welcome all active duty and retired general and flag officers, members of the Senior Executive Service, community leaders, interagency partners, commanders, directors, senior enlisted leaders, family and friends. Thank you all for coming. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, the commander of the North American Aerospace Defense Command and United States Northern Command, 
General Gregory M. Guillot. Ladies and gentlemen, good morning, and uh, thank you all for being here today to take part in this very important ceremony. Many people make these events happen, and I would be remiss if I did not take a moment to thank everyone involved in putting this together, from our amazing protocol team, the 4th Infantry Division Band, Steadfast and Loyal, from Fort Carson, our narrator, uh, chaplain for his spiritual guidance, the color guard, and all the support staff working hard behind the scenes. Thank you very much. Commodore King, thank you for taking the time out of your extremely busy schedule leading the Royal Bahamas Defense Force to be here for this event today. Lieutenant General Henry, great to see you. General Cardin, General Wise, General Roper, nice surprise to see you as well. There's no doubt that you're all very busy and I know that Sergeant Major Porterfield and Chief Storms appreciate all of you being here. I'd also like to acknowledge the senior enlisted leaders that are here today. I say in advance, I think there's more than I even expected, so hopefully I don't leave anybody out. But uh, Force Chief Petty Officer Ferguson of the Royal Bahamas Defense Force, SEAC Black, Master Sergeant Flores of the Mexican Army, Chief Petty Officer Lorenzo of the Mexican Marine Corps, Sergeant Major of the Marine Corps Ruiz, and Chief Master Sergeant of the Air Force Flossie. Thank you for your presence today, and it highlights the camaraderie of the senior enlisted force and the high importance of this ceremony. And of course, I'd like to welcome and thank the family and friends of Sergeant Major Porterfield and Chief Master Sergeant Storms. In particular, thank you to Sergeant Major Porterfield's wife, Karen, their sons, Calvin and Jonathan, as well as Andre and Gary, who are watching online. And thank you and welcome to Carrie Storms, Chief Master Sergeant Storms' wife. I'm pleased to speak to you today about a topic that is critical to the success and resilience of NORAD and NORTHCOM, continuity of leadership and the vital role of the Command Senior Enlisted Leader, or CSEL. In any organization, continuity of leadership is paramount. It ensures stability, fosters growth, maintains mission integrity. Within NORAD and NORTHCOM, we rely on the leadership and dedication of the Command Senior Enlisted Leader to help bring this continuity. Regardless of where I go, every partner nation has a consistent request. They want to understand and emulate America's professional enlisted force. Within NORAD and NORTHCOM, the C-cell is the standard bearer for that professional force and is the commander's trusted advisor on any matter affecting the force and the enlisted force in particular. C-cells are uniquely qualified to bridge the gap between command's workforce and senior leadership, providing invaluable insight, guidance, and mentorship. Each day, the C-Cell not only upholds the standards and traditions of our organization, but also advocates for the needs and well-being of all personnel. Today, as we reflect on the three-year tenure of Sergeant Major James Porterfield, I'm grateful for his exemplary service to NORAD and NORTHCOM. It has been an eventful three years, highlighted by Sergeant Major providing strategic perspective during Operations Allies Welcome. on. And so to the entire crowd that's here today, thank you for representing and supporting mostly James in this case because we all love you too, Chief Storms, but we're really here to say goodbye to James. I love you. I'll miss you. I got your phone number. Sayak Black, thank you very much. At this time, General Guillo will present Sergeant Major Porterfield with the Defense Superior Service Medal. Ladies and gentlemen, please rise. Attention orders. This is to certify that the Secretary of Defense has awarded the Defense Superior Service Medal to Sergeant Major James K. Porterfield, United States Marine Corps. Sergeant Major Porterfield distinguished himself by exceptionally meritorious service in a duty of great responsibility as Command Senior Enlisted Leader, Headquarters, North American Aerospace Defense Command, and United States Northern Command, Peterson Space Force Base, Colorado, 
from 15 June 2021 to 14 June 2024. During this period, Sergeant Major Porterfield's decisive leadership, superior strategic vision, and ceaseless efforts resulted in tremendous contributions to the readiness and success of the command's mission. His advocacy for the command's homeland defense missions have advanced the military's readiness and posture for operations across multiple regions. Sergeant Major Porterfield influenced, guided, and advised commanders and subordinate commands to look beyond traditional approaches and customary missions while examining the evolving adversary actions, capabilities, and their intent. He helped transform the command's vision by reaffirming the commitment to maintaining military discipline, esprit de corps, and focus to enhance the priority mission of Homeland Defense. His exceptional leadership inspired a culture of teamwork, professionalism, and readiness, directly influencing the defense of our nation. The distinctive accomplishments of Sergeant Major Porterfield culminated in a long and distinguished career in the service of his country and reflect great credit upon himself, the United States Marine Corps, and the Department of Defense. Given in my hand this 14th day of June 2024, signed Gregory M. Gio, General, United States Air Force, Commander, North American Aerospace Defense Command, and United States Northern Command. At ease. Ladies and gentlemen, the Command Senior Enlisted Leader of the North American Aerospace Defense Command and United States Northern Command, Sergeant Major James K. Porterfield. Marco, I see you there. 
Marco's wife is like nine months pregnant. She's like due yesterday and still here. We'll, we'll talk after that about, you know, what, what priorities that is. But truly, but truly, thank you to, to my battle buddies. Um, one of them is uh, missing right now. You know, with planes, trains, and automobiles couldn't be here. But I'm talking about Sergeant Kramer and Master Gunner Sergeant Stock. Scott Stock retired. You, you two, um, I tell you, the talks that we've had, um, usually over uh, some adult beverages and many cigars, uh, you, you, my friends, uh, I couldn't have done it without you. And you're the reason why I'm here. And as, as the SEAC and Troy talk about, we've been friends for many, many years. And to see us at this level of the combat command, who would have thought it? But uh, I'm glad that you're here. And I look forward to continuing the relationship with Howard and Scott. To my, uh, my, my team, my CCL uh, team in front office, you know, whether I'm talking about Senior Master Sergeant Jackson, Master Sergeant uh, Small, Staff Sergeant Wolf, Sergeant First Class Espinosa, and Pay Officer uh, One Garcia. You know, in these types of roles and responsibilities, you just can't do it. You, you can't do it alone. And for what they do for me and for the commands, I, I owe all of them everything. If I could cut this, this ribbon up and, and give it to each and every one of them, I would do it in a heartbeat because I tell you, you, you guys are the true reason that I'm here. And uh, it was uh, where Senior, Senior Jackson, he knows, uh, we, we started off and it was, uh, it was a little bit bumpy, but uh, just due to your personality, you opened doors that you don't even realize just by your sheer personality, and, and we made it happen. Um, I'm just forever grateful for you all. And like you all know, and I told you, that as long as you're on my personal phone, you know, I, I will be reaching out to you, and, and I'm always an earshot away. But I also wanted to, um, you know, thank General Gill. Sir, you, uh, you, you came in and you had a vision, and, and you just, you, you initiated and you sparked a, uh, a fire within the commands to to be better, and your standard, um, the the standard was the best, and your work ethic, the way you perform, the way you communicate, the way you, the the direction you have, and the, where you're taking this command or these commands is, it, it's pretty refreshing. And uh, I tell you, you know, I just wish you and Caroline all the best. Thank you for opening up your home to uh, me and my bride the other day and giving us the gracious gifts. Um, I'm truly excited for the future with, um, with you and uh, Chief Storms, John, and, uh, and Carrie by your side. So when you think about Homeland Defense and all that we do here um, within these commands, it's a, it's a pretty daunting task, but I can think of no more nobler mission than one supporting you know, their, um, and defending their homelands because as the SEAC mentioned, and, and a lot of us, we've, we've, we've deployed a lot. We've been all over the world. Um, name your region, name your conflict, um, and we're here, and we made it back for those that are still around. But the mission that we have now of defending our very life and freedoms, whether we're talking about our kids and grandkids and our aunts and uncles, it takes on a special, special meaning. And uh, it's, it's pretty, you know, it's pretty daunting, but uh, just thank you. Thank you, General. To the, uh, to the directorates, thank you for your support. Um, couldn't have done it without you. You know, you all have been just, I can go into your office, and quite frankly, I have more conversations with each and every one of you all than sometimes the uh, SELs, but that says something about your openness to support me and, uh, and the, uh, the office of the CCL. I couldn't have done it without you. But when I think about the commands and, and all that we do, and we got some great talented, you know, members of the command, but we wouldn't be who we are without people like Isaiah, I see you back there and everybody knows Isaiah and our, our, our um, cleaning team, um, Jerome and, and the help desk. Jerome is uh, just any, another person. I pick up the phone and before I can dial it, he's already up in the office. And um, Patricia, Patricia's the, uh, down in our cafeteria. Whenever I walk up, she just automatically has popcorn because she knows that's what I'm going to order. So uh, just people like that that truly make the commands who they are. But so 
I'll end how I started and I'll save more comments. So Wendy, I have not forgot about my wife. This is strategic, you know, and uh, I will talk about her and my, uh, and my kids at the next ceremony. So I don't get that, that deaf stare, babe. I, I love you, but I'll talk more about you, you know, at the next ceremony. But I just wanna wish, you know, John and Carrie, you know, welcome to the commands. This is, uh, it's gonna be a ride, but it's gonna be fun, exciting. The team and support that you have around you and who would truly rally around you and lift you up is, is, is truly amazing. And I have no doubt under the guidance of um, General Gio and Caroline that this, this command is gonna go places it's never seen. And I'll end with uh, just thanking also um, General Van Hurt for allowing me to continue to serve because I was retirement approved. And then the Sergeant Major of the Marine Corps at that time said, not so fast. <laughs> so, uh, but I'm blessed. I'm truly blessed. And that's why um, I truly give uh, thanks to God. And uh, I'll have more comments during my retirement ceremony. But uh, just for everyone in attendance, thank you for being here. It says a lot about you. And, uh, but more importantly, it says a lot about what you, uh, what you think about me and my family, because that's the, uh, the most important thing to me. So uh, with that, um, Thank you. Thank you, Sergeant Major Porterfield. In lieu of flowers, the men and women of NORAD and U.S. NORTHCOM would like to thank Ms. Karen Porterfield with a donation to the Navy and Marine Corps Relief Society. General Guillo. Sergeant Major Porterfield and Chief Master Sergeant Storms, please proceed to center stage. The change of responsibility ceremony is a traditional event, rich with symbolism and heritage. The key to the ceremony is the passing of the command's colors. The very soul of a military unit is symbolized in the colors under which it fights for what they represent, not only the lineage and honors of the organization, but also the loyalty and unity of its personnel. The custodian of the colors is the command senior enlisted leader of the unit. The North American Aerospace Defense Command colors are passed from Sergeant Major Porterfield to General Guillo signifying Sergeant Major Porterfield's relinquishment of responsibilities as command senior enlisted leader of the North American Aerospace Defense Command for the past three years. General Guillo then passes the colors to Chief Master Sergeant Storms, signifying his trust and delegation of responsibilities. Chief Master Sergeant Storms reception of the colors signifies his acceptance of the duties and responsibilities of command senior enlisted leader of the North American Aerospace Defense Command. Now the United States Northern Command colors are passed from Sergeant Major Porterfield to General Guillo. And from General Guillo to Chief Master Sergeant Storms, signifying the transfer of responsibilities of Command Senior Enlisted Leader of the United States Northern Command. Ladies and gentlemen, the command, senior enlisted leader of the North American Aerospace Defense Command and United States Northern Command, Chief Master Sergeant John G. Storms. Well, good morning, ladies and gentlemen, and thank you very much for attending today's ceremony. Uh, Carrie and I are truly humbled by your presence. Commodore King, uh, Fleet Chief Petty Officer Ferguson, Senior List Advisor to the Chairman Black, Sergeant Major in the Marine Corps Ruiz, Chief Master Sergeant of the Air Force Flossie, Senior List Advisor uh, Whitehead. Uh, the delegation from the Mexican military, distinguished visitors, special guests, family and friends, I would be remiss if I did not say thank you to all of you so much for being here. I know some of you have traveled from far and from different parts of the world to support today's ceremony, 
and I truly appreciate it. Uh, first off, I would like to thank the committee that planned today's ceremony and all the volunteers that made this event possible. You all made this event look incredibly easy, and we all know that events like this are anything but easy. To General Gio, sir, thank you very much for your trust and confidence in me to perform in this capacity. Carrie and, our, Carrie and I are very grateful and excited to have another opportunity to work with, uh, to work alongside you and Ms. Caroline. Sergeant Major Porterfield, thank you for your incredible work as the command senior enlisted leader and service throughout your amazing career. Thank you for always being available to answer my questions and thank you for allowing, making your staff available to support our arrival and helping to ensure that I'm ready to work uh, right away. Karen, I wish you, Miss Karen, and the boys nothing but success and happiness as you begin the next chapter of your life. As this event started to take shape, the protocol team reached out and they asked me to uh, provide a list of folks I, I'd like to invite to today's event. As Carrie and I started to build the list, we knew many wouldn't be able to attend, but wanted to invite them anyway in recognition of their mentorship, guidance, and sage advice over the years. Without their support, I would not be standing here today. To those that are here today and those watching the live feed, thank you. Your friendship and support over the years means more to me than you'll ever realize. To the Air Force Senior Enlisted Leader Council, thank you all for making the trip. It's great to see y'all. Uh, I've learned so much from each of you and I am incredibly grateful to have the opportunity to continue serving alongside you. To the Defense Senior Enlisted Council, Thank you for attending, and I look forward to serving alongside each of you in the coming months and years. Uh, a huge thank you to my family that hopefully they're, they're watching the live feed uh, for 32 years of amazing support and continuous love. Carrie and I would never be able to continue serving without your love and support. We look forward to all of you visiting us in Colorado soon, and Carrie and I love you all. And to Carrie, the absolute rock of our family, Thank you for all of your sacrifices as we continue to serve. Your love of this country and its service members and their families is inspiring. I appreciate everything you do, not only for our family, but for service members and their families. Thank you for continuing this journey alongside me. I love you. Finally, to the men and women of NORAD and US NORTHCOM, we have the most noble of all missions to protect the homeland. As our world continues to evolve and our adversaries continue to advance their capabilities and capacity, the threats, that, the threats against our homeland are more sophisticated than ever. It will take all of us, a diverse and multifaceted team, to protect the United States and North America. I am incredibly humbled and excited to join your team in the defense of the homeland. Thank you all very much. Thank you, Chief Master Sergeant Storms. In lieu of flowers, the men and women of NORA and U.S. NORTHCOM would like to welcome Mrs. Storms with a donation to the Air Force Enlisted Village. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, please stand for the playing of the service medley and the departure of the official party.
Ladies and gentlemen, this concludes our ceremony. On behalf of Chief Master Sergeant and Mrs. Storms, you're cordially invited to attend a small reception immediately following the ceremony at the rear of the hangar. There will be a one hour intermission before the start of the retirement ceremony honoring Sergeant Major James Porterfield. We request that everyone attending the retirement ceremony please be seated no later than 1210. 1210 everyone, thank you very much. Thanks for coming.